4 a.m. Saturday morning. Let me get this light off my head. Okay. Get my cap back around so I don't look like a gangbanger. Okay, what I want to do is drop this deck off of here and uh, being that I have it up on this tractor jack stand, I'm going to go ahead and pull the the bracket that holds, helps protect the belt from the engine pulley to the belt. It's uh, like a guide to keep the belt on the pulley. And then there's a bow snap uh, clip on there I got to get off. Here's a big pile of, right here, the stuff I got off of that. Tractor. Let me see if I can lay down here and let you see what's up in there. Okay, right in here, right in there, I scraped some of it off. But, as you can see, I didn't really get over there good yet. So what I'm going to do is drop this deck off and get it on the ground, flip it upside down, and then that way I can scrape the rest of that off. Now, it shouldn't be too hard. I got to pull... I got to pull this bracket off right here that help hold that, hold that belt on that engine. This is from the engine pulley. And this bow clip's got to come off. Bracket right here, it retains that belt on that engine pulley. That's so that I can take it off the pulley when I drop the deck down to take it off. And then, I got to get in there, I don't know which side it's on. I think it's on this side. I got to get in there and take that manual PTO uh, lever off of there. You know, that engages the clutch, or the, uh, engages the pulley. You got to get those off. So. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off until I get all this done. I'm not going to pull the clips. Well, I'll pull that one off, but the rest of them I'll pull when I get this back on the ground. But while I got it up, I want to get this bracket right here off. All right, well, I guess I better get to work. It's uh, 4.12 a.m. The reason I'm doing this at night is because today it was 98 to 99 degrees out here and it was just too dang hot to be out here working on this thing. So, all right, well, I guess better shut up and get to work. All right, some personal notes here, more, more for me than anybody else. All right, once you get that bracket off and you lower the deck as far down as it'll go, I got it up on a jack, so it may make a difference if you have this on the ground. It may not go down so far, but I lowered the deck all the way as far down as it go. And this belt right here, like this. Yeah. Look how easy that comes off. So, if you got a jack, do all this stuff before you put it on the on the floor to do the rest of it. But if you do that, it goes down far enough, you can just slide that belt right off of there. You don't have to pull that idler pulley back or nothing. Look, see? It's hanging down far enough, enough slack for that to just come right off. Okay, I wanted to make a note of that. I know this might be a little bit out of sequence. Okay. Uh, you can't see it too good from this side. See this table right here? Right here? It, one of the guys says, oh, it's just easy. You pull the bow clip out and slide it out. Nah, let me show you the other side. Hang on. Okay, if you're looking at the front of the tractor, this is on the right side. Okay, right over in there where that light's showing, right there, Right behind that clip where that slot is. Here, let me see if I can get my hand in there and get a light on it, too. Here. It's kind of close quarters here. 
Then it's this clip right here. I don't know if I'm getting it or not, but that clip right there is what this cable goes in. It goes in it right there. See that? And you got to take some water pump pliers and work that thing back out. It's got like a little slack in it right here, little pegs. So that's what you got to do to get that out. And then, in order to get this spring off of here, this one, which by the way, I need to show where this goes. Okay, so when I put it back together, I'll remember. This has got to go in there like this, underneath that bar, and clip up here in this hole, up in there. Right up in there, like that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's up in there like that. So you, what you have to do, and once again, I don't have six hands to show you. Let's see if I can put the light this way. Okay, now I hope you can see this. This idler pulley, let me get it lined up. You got to pull this all the way over. See that arm rotate right there? See his arm right here? That pulls it out where you can get that spring out of that hole where my thumb is. You got to pull that pulley back like that in order to get it out. And you put it back in, that spring goes underneath this. So you got to remember that. Okay, well, all I got left to do is these right here. That, that, and that on the other side. And then uh, this, this clip, that clip, and two on the other side, and uh, this one in the front, and it's ready to come off. So what I have to do is I got to drop this jack down and pull it back because, as you can see, that right down there, right there is underneath that cutting deck. So I got to pull this out, pull the tractor off of it, and then... Go ahead and pull those clips and slide that deck out. Okay, guys, I got a correction to make about these bow clips. As you can see, there's one right here, right up here, and one down there. You don't take this one out. That stays in there. All you got to do is take this one out right here. You just take that one out on each side, and the one in the front. So I got three to remove. See, that one stays in there. Right here. This one, that one. Christ, can you see the camera? This one stays in there. That one comes out right there. And that's on both sides. These remain in. That's part of the pivot arm that holds that up. Got everything off. The belt's down. The guard's off. Got that spring off that goes that cable that, that the uh, PTO clutch engagement. And uh, I think we're ready to drop this down and pull it out. Okay, let's bring this down. There it is. All right, it's on the ground. All right, now I got to shove this thing off of there. <sighs> got to raise the deck back up. Unlock the transmission and shove. And I don't think you're supposed to be pushing on this. No. Uh, of course, help you take the damn brake off, stupid. There you go. Yeah. Okay, it's off. Now I can move this thing out of the way. I want to move it forward a little bit. Okay. And put the brake back on it. I always forget how that damn thing goes. All right, now. 
I'm going to pull the pins and then we'll pull that thing out. Let's see if I can pull that thing out. You're not going to be able to see me, but you can see this, I hope. What you got to do when you pull those pins out and you pop the bars off of the, of the holes, you got to raise that, that handle back up to the highest setting to pull those brackets out of the way. Of course, they don't tell you that stuff in the book. All right. You see these people, this is how you take it loose, but if you notice when they show you in the video, they've cut a lot out of it. Okay, let's see if I can get this out of here. Come to Papa. Okay. There we are. Hope I got enough room. All right, come on out. There it is. It's out from underneath the tractor. Let me clean some of the stuff off of this and we'll have a look at it. Here's the thing about this. You see all this grass and stuff? I washed this with a hose, but you can't really get to it while it's on the tractor. The mud and the pulleys and things, it's all sorts of stuff. There's grass in here. Just Lord mighty. All right, well, that's clean enough for me to show you what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Now, that spring and cable that I was talking about, the cable mount goes right here. Right in that little hole, right there. Right there. And the spring comes up and it goes in this hole. Okay? So, in order to get that off, you have to wiggle out the holder on this to get out the plastic part. Then you got to pull this over. Yeah, it won't do it now. I don't have enough slack. There it is. Come on, work with me here. Okay, you got to move this back to here to get it off. Now, what they'll tell you in the book is take a 3 8 inch drive and put it in that hole and turn it clock, uh, counterclockwise to move that pulley over. Well, I got news for you. When it's up underneath there, you can't get to it. So I just reached in, grabbed the back side of the pulley and pulled it over this way. All right. I got this thing out, and I'm going to move it over here and down there and try to flip it upside down so I can get the underside of it and start cleaning it. What time is it? 5.17. So it took me an hour and 17 minutes to get that thing out of there. All right, well, let me haul it down there. So I just put a piece of wooden block on there. And I squirted it with a hose a little bit, but as you can see, it didn't soak in it at all. That's, that's dried, hard mud. Anyway, there's the, the stuff I took out of it right there. There's big chunks I got out right here. I thought I'd shoot this before I got too far along, but you can see right here. Look at all that mud caked up in here. Look at this. Look at that. That is a mess, and I got to scrape all that off with this, and then take a wire cup brush and brush all that stuff off. Well, I'm a little bit ahead of the game. At least I'm getting something done for the. It gets hot again. It's supposed to be get, getting hot again today. Let me get the light up here. You can see it. 
Anyway, there it is. That's all that junk that was up underneath there. And right here, hidden under that, right here is a water port. It's supposed to wash all that stuff out. Okay, right now it's 5.45 and uh, I got that thing off and uh, I'm starting to chisel it off. You know, think about it, I don't even think my pressure washer would have blasted that stuff off. Here's, here's what it looks like. What a mess. It's really bad up over here. Right in there. And back over in there. But, I'll get it. Well, I went and took a break. Now I'm going to see what I can do with this thing. I got a little bit of this stuff raked out, but... I still a lot, got a lot to go. Mm, damn. Here's my hammer. Mm. I feel like a sculpture. Mm. Yeah, that sucker was in there. Mm. I mean, that's pretty bad. You got to take a hammer and a piece of metal and chip that stuff off. That's bad. That's not grass. You know what this looks like? It looks like I ran this mower around in a, in a gravel pit. Or wherever it is. They, you know where they chop up big blocks of granite and limestone and stuff? Looks like a mining pit. It, it don't look like a bit of grass in there. That's all that dirt. And what gets me is I didn't run over. I wasn't out here cutting the grass when it was wet. There was no water. I didn't run through mud puddles. Look at that stuff. It's like rock. It's like limestone. It's like a limestone quarry I drove the mower around in. This stuff is bad. It's starting to rust. Not bad, but look at this stuff. Mm. And another thing. I washed this out every time I used it. So it just goes to show you that damn water jet port don't work with a dam. It doesn't. It's over here buried somewhere. <clears throat> and like I said before, whenever I got done mowing, I hooked up the hose to this water jet port and I ran that for 15 to 20 minutes every time I used it. And this is what I wound up with. Yeah. Look at that. That's like a rock. Oh well. Everybody ought to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning out cleaning the lawnmower deck. Yeah, I keep thinking about my doctor. Well, you know, you ought to get out and get some exercise. <laughs> yeah, come strap his ass on this and let him do it. Well, I guess I could get a broom and sweep this stuff out that uh, ejection chute and see what I got here. Okay, let's sweep this stuff out. Let's see what we got. See if there's any deck underneath there left. Yeah, there's something underneath that. Looks a lot better than it did. I still got a lot to clean off. I probably hit most of this with a 
uh, wire brush. There's rust right here. It's not real bad yet, but it's there. Of course, tell you the truth, I've never seen a cutting deck, even on a small lawnmower, didn't have rust in it. This thing's five years old. We got it in 2017. All right, well now at least I can see what I'm doing. Well, that got a lot of it off. Especially right up in here. That was really bad. Yeah, that's mud. That's There's no grass clippings in that at all. None. It's mud. I really don't understand it. I know I'm repeating myself, but... I just don't understand how you can get that much mud in something. I mean, what do you gotta have to make mud? Dirt and water. And like I said, I wasn't out here mowing when that grass was wet. Yeah, well, it looks a little bit more like a cutting deck. There's rust right here. Where is it? Yeah, it might be dirt. There's rust there, though. Oh, well. Yeah, sunrise over the old homestead. It's just starting to get light, and it's... 6.37, and it's starting to get light. Well, this is as far as I've gotten so far. I cleaned up this end right here. Got most of the stuff off of it. That right there is a water port where it squirts water in the deck supposedly to help clean it out. But anyway, I got, what I'm using is that right there. I'm using that heavy cup wire brush on my four and a half inch grinder and uh, I started to get the rest of the mud off down to the metal. It's starting to look pretty good. I think if I can get it all off of there I'm going to paint it before I stick it back on there. Here's the other end that I haven't really got cleaned up real good yet. I got most of the big chunks out. Right about in there is still some mud. There's some rust there, but overall it looks a lot better than it did. Well, I'm going to quit for today. I'm tired. I've been up since 1 o'clock this morning. But there's the overall look of it. I've got quite a bit done considering I had to take it off the tractor, so... I'm going to sweep it out with a broom, put my tools up, and then I'm going to quit for today. It's going to get hot again today. It's supposed to be up around 100. All right, well, that's it for now.